Hi, Nick fans. That's right. I am Victor Hachiba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, I receive again Zach Brasiler from New York Post. This interview, uh, again, just in English, nah? subtitles for Brazilians, and I will speak uh, in English with uh, Zach. Zach, welcome again. Thanks for coming in Nick Fans Brazil. My, uh, my pleasure. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so happy né, for receive you again in this channel. Uh, Zach, uh, I want to talk with you about uh, your post né, in journal. Uh, Derek Harper promised Nick fans will love Jalen Brunson. Uh, do you can talk about this post with us in Brazil? Um, yeah, look, he, Derek Harper, had, you know, was the Knicks point guard about three decades ago, and he's he's the television announcer for the Mavericks, so he's very very familiar with Brunson, and he he loves everything about Jalen. He he thinks he's a leader. He thinks he's a guy that's only getting better. Um, he he told me he he thinks Knicks are going to be very very happy with Jalen Brunson just because of everything he brings to the table, his leadership, his skill his ability to run an offense, you know, he, I was blown away by just how, how much he loves Jalen Brunson. He jokingly called himself the president of the Jalen Brunson fan club. He, he was, you know, he thinks Knicks fans are going to be very happy with Jalen Brunson. Uh, I saw uh, Darky Harper like so much Jalen Brunson. Né? And uh, yeah. when I, I saw né, your post, né, I, I, I think it's interesting, né? Uh, Dark Harper, it's a uh, very important uh, fr uh, from the Knicks too, né? And a uh, long, long time ago, Knicks don't have uh, a great PG, né? In your opinion, uh, Jalen Brunson uh, has a chance, uh, a, a great future, and Knicks are not, in your opinion? Yeah, look, I, I. I think I think Brunson's a very good player. I don't think he's a great player. I don't think he's necessarily a, an all star, but I think he's a very good player. And I think he's the, on paper at least, is the best point guard the Knicks have had in a long time. You know, it, this is a franchise that has kind of gone through point guards so much, and they really need one. And I, and look, I'm not saying he's a superstar, but I think he's a very good player who's only going to get better. He clearly wanted to be here. You know, he, he's very close with, with Leon Rose and Tom Thibodeau and other members of the Knicks organization. I think it's a good move. Now, the Knicks are not necessarily a contender in the East. They still have a long way to go, but he makes them a better team. Yes. I hear, uh, Zach, about uh, uh, tampering uh, with Jalen Brunson. What do you think about this? You know... Tampering to me is something it goes on throughout the league. You know, you you see when the start of free agency, every player has like a contract ready to, ready. You know, it everyone is doing it. Now look, Jalen Brunson's dad is on the on the Knicks coaching staff. So is it tampering if he talks to his dad? Is it tampering if his agent talks, you know, his agent Sam Rose, his father's Leon Rose. So is it tampering if Leon Rose talks to his son? I just don't know if they're how they're going to prove tampering when there are these there's such there are these close relationships that are that are you know in play here. So I, I'm not you know. But back to kind of your point. I mean, I think if you really wanted to find tampering, you can find it everywhere. Now yes. I don't think the Knicks are going to lose a first round pick here. Maybe if there's real proof of it, maybe they can lose a second round pick down the road. But I still don't really kind of buy it. Like. That, like Chicago, like like same in Chicago Bulls, né? Chicago Bulls lost, né? A uh, second pick because right. tampering, né? Yeah, I think that's probably the worst that you can see happen is, you know, maybe a second round pick. I still, I still would be surprised, but you know, they're 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 clearly, you know, something going on there, obviously. Ah, okay. Uh, and uh, I want your opinion, Zach, about Isaiah Hartenstein. Né? come to uh, from uh, Los Angeles Clippers né? to the Knicks. 
I want your, uh, your opinion about the center. Yeah, uh, he's people are high on him. You know, he he he's a, he's a rim protector, but he also can shoot threes. He's a really good passer. They could play him at the high post. You know, I, I think he's a really interesting signing because this is a guy who bounced around a little. He played in the G League, and now the last two years he was a very productive player for the Cavaliers and the Clippers. And he brings something that the Knicks don't really have when you will consider a big man who can shoot and can really spread the floor. I like the move. And I know scouts are very high on him and think he's, he's a guy that has a lot of potential. Uh, uh, I, uh, I agree with you about this. No, I, in begin later i like you the, the center but but in begin man oh man oh man but uh i i i still hope in the center i i like interesting from from the knicks now um zach uh i i, I bring you know, you in this channel uh before dra draft you know, uh what's your opinion about trevor kills uh from the duke you know, uh our uh, only pick né, in this draft. Né? What's your opinion about Trevor from the Duke? Yeah, he, he's an interesting guy. He was a big recruit. He was a five-star. and He kind of had an up-and-down year at Duke. But there was some thought that he could end up being a, being a, a first-round pick. Um, didn't happen. But he's a guy that there is obviously um, high hopes for. Uh, and you know he, the Knicks have agreed with him on a two-way contract, so he's gonna, you know, he's gonna play a lot in the G League, and you know we'll we'll, we'll go from there. But he was an interesting pick because there were some people who thought he could have been a first-round pick, and he fell all the way to the Knicks at forty-two. So I'm I'm interested to to see, you know, kind of what what he can do here in Vegas. Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow, Knicks begin eh, in summer league. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm out. I'm out here in Vegas, so we'll we'll see what they can do here. Yes, uh, I I saw today, né, Jericho Sings, né, uh, signs a new contract, né, and Trevor too, né. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Sims has a three year deal, partially guaranteed. Um, he's going to be the, you know, I would think he'll be the number three center behind Mitchell Robinson and Hartenstein, and. He's a guy that that showed some potential last year as a rebounder. I know they think he's got some offensive potential at you know in the post and even as a distributor. So he's a guy that also is out here in Vegas, and we'll see how he plays. But they're clearly high on him. Ah yes, uh, which sure. Uh, summer league is it's important now uh, because uh, I will see Kenton um, Grimes now. Uh, and then other players uh playing play more né, in summer league it, it's been interesting for us né, seeing these players uh what do you think about for, for example jericho sings mcbride né, uh, trevor uh, uh, uh do you can uh tell about about this um yeah it, it look it, it is going to be interesting um I'm interested in what Grimes could do here. He has very high hopes for himself. We talked to him the other day, and he said, you know, his, his goal was, was to dominate. Um, you also have, you know, you also have Sims. You also have Miles McBride, who really didn't play much as a rookie, and he'll get a chance now to play more. You have Trevor Keels. You have Jean Mon, uh, Montero, who's from the Dominican Republic and went undrafted, but it's another interesting guy. So they have, you know, even though they don't have any first round picks from this year's draft playing, they have some interesting guys and. You know, it it'll be uh, it'll be fun. They're, I'm going to be here for three of their games before I go back to New York, so I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing them play here. Nah, which uh, and Zach, uh, you Rokas uh, Hoka Bites, né? Rokas Hoka Bites, uh, stay one year more in in Barcelona. Yeah, that's that's the plan. He's not in summer league. He had a decent year overseas, and, and look, they need they want to see him develop a little more. He did shoot the three pretty well overseas this past year, and you know I, I do know they probably would have liked to see him play a little here in summer league. But um, 
you know, he's a guy who's going to have another year overseas, and, and we'll see where he's at in a year or so. Nah. And Zach, uh, what uh, do you know? Uh, a new rumors about the Knicks, uh, for example. Uh, it's a, I, I, I know it's a dream, okay? But Donovan Mitchell, a new rumor. Um, uh, or another rumors uh, from the Knicks? Um, yeah, it, you know, right now with Donovan Mitchell, it doesn't sound like he's getting traded. It looks like Utah is going to try to build around him. And, you know, they got a, they got a ton of picks from, from Minnesota in the Rudy Gobert trade. They got some good players back, you know, Patrick Beverly, Malik Beasley. Um, you know, they also got a first-round pick, Walker Kessler. I don't think they're going to deal. Look, and I also think the problem for the Knicks with, with Mitchell is I don't think the Knicks can get him unless they include R.J. Barrett, and I don't know if the Knicks would do that. Um, you know, R.J. is a guy who's getting better every season. He's so young still. It, it's, it would be a – I don't know how much better it makes the Knicks – to trade R.J. Barrett for Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's obviously a better player. He's probably a top 15 player in the league. But I just I just don't know if that makes them that much better. You know, other rumors, they, they haven't yet announced the signings of, of Brunson um, and, and Hartenstein yet. There's some thought that there could end up being a sign-and-trade with Dallas and, you know, maybe to clear some more cap space for the Knicks. And so we'll see. But nothing kind of – nothing official on that, you know, nothing official out there yet. But I think, you know, in a few days that should that should clear itself out. Uh, I, I, Mike, I, I will look, look, uh, look for you about this, these rumors, okay? <laughs> Brazilians. Brazilians want rumors, man. Rumors <laughs> from the Knicks. <laughs> uh, and the last question, uh, what's your opinion about uh, – the new contract né, from Mitchell Robinson. What do you think about this? You know, I think it was the right move. I I understand Robinson has it, is still limited offensively, but look, he's a elite rim protector. He is the backbone to their defense. He's a guy they've developed. You know, I, I, I had no problem with the deal. You know, four years, 60 million, maybe a little rich, maybe, a, you know, Maybe 15 a year is a little much, but I, I, I think Mitchell Robinson is important to the Knicks. I like the fact that they got a backup center who is very different from him in terms of his versatility. I, I think it's a good move. I really do. Um, you know, he, he's, he's just so important to their defense, and he's a guy that is getting better. You know, you would like him to, to, to maybe be a little better offensively, but I still think he's – He's still very, still very good player. Ah, great man, Zach. Uh, today it's a fast interview, né? Uh, so uh, really, really happy again, né? Uh, bring you in this channel. I hope, I hope, uh, receive you all so, so many times in this this channel. Brazil loves you, man. Brazil likes hey. your interview with me in the the last. The last interview, Zach. Well, thank you very much. It's my uh, my pleasure. Uh, thanks so much, man. Take care. All right, have a good bye day. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, Zach. Bye. E aí, pessoal? Este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço!
yes I do. Are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan. I'm a Nick fan. I'm down with the orange and the blue. I'm a Nick fan. I got a.